shit. You know me? Yeah. I was hoping I'd bump into you, actually. Let me introduce myself. I'm Rahim. I run Sparker, the first post-apocalyptic dating service. A dating service? I could use a little something-something if you know what I mean. Uh, tell me. Oh, I'll gladly explain. Get you up to speed? Okay, I'll admit it. I made you a card already. Whoa. <laughs> what? I created a profile for you. A uh, profile on, on a card? What on earth for? Well, it's my job. The world may have ended, and most of our loved ones have turned into bloodthirsty monsters roaming the streets, but uh, that doesn't mean people have stopped being lonely. I mean, shit, that's exactly why they're lonely these days. You mean to tell me there was a time when people weren't lonely? Imagine a world where people actually went out to work, shopping, walking their dog, and on top of that, they had dating apps. Um, uh, apps? Okay, okay, never mind. What I'm trying to say is that before the shit hit the fan, we used to socialize. There were parties, you know, when people got together just for the sake of being together. And of course, to get laid. <laughs> now, Everyone just stays home, behind closed doors, because, well, meeting new people can result in getting clubbed in the skull for a bucket of water. So, well, let me get this straight. Your cards help people meet. Basically, yes. People who want to meet other people come see me. I draw them. I'm pretty good at that. Or at least, that's what I'm told. Then, I put their portrait on a card and display it on my dating board. If someone's interested, they get in touch with me and voila, a romance is born. Not always for very long, but uh, I guess that's something that hasn't changed. But right now, I'm in deep shit and I desperately need help. Of course you do. Some shithead trying to imitate me forged several Sparker cards. They scattered them around town. That's infringement. It's ruining my reputation and disorienting my customers. I need someone to collect these fake cards for me and bring them back. I heard that talentless hack was killed in a dark zone, so he won't be bothering me again. And I managed to find most of the fake cards. But there are two left I couldn't get hold of. Bring them to me, and I'll give you the card I've made for you. Check the map on the wall. I've marked possible locations for the fake cards. I can barely get by. Used to watch so many movies in the old days. Now I couldn't name a single one. It's like the virus wiped our brains on top of our vanity. Looking sharp, Aiden. <laughs> For this is the news of the last city standing. Citizens, good news.
Pleasure. A sparker card. I know exactly who's looking for this.
get my own Sparker card.
All right, I found your fake cards. Now let me see what you made me look like. Like the prince you are. Here's your Sparker card. Check it out. Come back here later, if you want to meet the people that liked your Sparker profile. Can't thank you enough for saving me, but take this. Are you here for the Sparker card? What are you looking for on Sparker? What do you mean? Well, you know, some people are only here for one reason. It'd be nice to meet someone, you know, become friends, and then... We'll see. That's how you think of me? That's kind of cute. Maybe we can go for a walk? Uh, well, listen. Would you mind watching my son sometimes? His name's Jacob. Wait, what? Wouldn't you like to spend some time with him? Thirteen-year-olds aren't that bad. It's the best age, actually. You could show him some parkour tricks, some combat. You know, Jake could use a father figure. Wait, hold up. You're on Sparker, because you're looking for a babysitter? He's not a baby. Haven't you been listening? Anyway, I told you I got this job on a farm. So what would you say to a bag of potatoes per hour? I'm sure you've got a great kid, and hell, I'd even like to help you, but there's just too much going on with me right now, okay? Sure, Aiden, I get it. Good luck with all that.